You are welcome to another video of Juniper Junos Associate course. In this video, I'm going to talk about Junos passwordless SSH public key authentication, which allows the administrator to log into the Juniper devices without password. It is both attractive and at the same time secure. It is not only useful for normal SSH connection, but it can be very practical in network automation. How to implement SSH public key authentication in Juniper devices? However, this process is not limited to Juniper devices, but we will implement in SRX Juniper device. In the first step, we have to generate an RSA key pair, a public key and a private key. There are many ways to generate RSA key pairs in different operating systems. But as an example, in Linux distributions, it can be generated using SSH keygen t and RSA command. If there is no suitable software for generating RSA key pairs, this command can also be used in Juniper shell environment. If you remember, you can start the Juniper shell environment with a start shell in operational mode. The property of these keys are so that whatever is encrypted with public key, it will be decrypted only with its own private key. Due to the importance of the private key, it is optionally possible to protect the private key with a password. In the second step, we copy the public key into the Juniper device. In the third step, we will bind the public key to a user in Juno's device. Now you can authenticate yourself to the Juniper device just by sending your public key and without any password. If you have protected your private key, then you have to provide the password to access the private key. This password is not related to the user in Juniper device. You are probably asking how public key authentication works behind the scenes. The process is easy. The public key is already connected to the user in Juniper device. When you send your public key, then you are actually that user. With the condition that you can prove that you are the owner of that public key. To prove that Juniper device encrypt a random key with your public key and send it to you. You have to decrypt the random key with the corresponding private key and send it back to the Juniper device. If you can decrypt the random key with your private key, that means you are actually the owner of that public key, since you have the corresponding private key. The private key is very important and needs a strong protection. To configure passwordless SSH public key authentication, we need four steps as we discussed earlier. In the first step, we generate an RSA key pair in the Linux machine with the command SSH keygen T RSA. When generating RSA key, you will be asked if you want to protect your private key with the password. You can ignore private key protection if you wish, but it's not recommended. I ignore it to see how we can connect the Juniper device without any password. The public key is generated with the name of id underline rsa.pub and the corresponding private key name is id underline rsa. Your private key will be stored by default in the id underline rsa file in ssh folder in your home directory. In my machine, it is located in home slash majid slash dot ssh and then the name of the file. And the public key with the default name id underline rsa dot popped will be stored in the same pass. And we can check it with the command ls-al.ssh. As you can see, these two files are our private key and public key file. 
In the second step, we copy the public key to the Juniper device with the command scp slash home slash majid ssh and id dot pop or public key with the user Raika to IP address of Juniper device and in any folder for example var slash home slash right and with the password Raika dash code dot com and it is copied to the Juniper device and we can check it with a file list slash var slash home slash Raika id underline rsa dot pop in the third step we create a new user and connect the public key to the user into configuration mode with the command set system login user for example raika 20 with uid 2022 and again set system login user raika 20 with the last super user with full access and in the set step raika b raika 20 authentication load the file and then slash var slash home slash raika id underline rsa dot pop and then show compare and commit command and now we are ready to connect to the juniper device without any password to check it in the linux machine ssh raika 20 at sign 192 168 200 100 without any password as you can see I'm connected to the Juniper device with Raika 20 user without any password, just with a public key. And by default, the public key is loaded in the home directory.ssh folder. But if it is located in another place, we have to give the password the public key in our command.